Hey guys and gals, let's talk tattoos because it's Tuesday. There might be some useful advice in here for people who don't have any tattoos or for people who only have some small tattoos and are thinking of getting some, uh, some bigger ones. My first tattoo was actually my entire left leg, which I went down to Fort Lauderdale in Florida to do. That's just north of Miami. And uh, Gabe's a great guy. I'll throw his Instagram in the profile too if anyone, if you want to go check out his page and see some more of his work. And yes, my whole leg is a Dragon Ball Z tattoo. <laughs> I love anime. I'm a huge otaku, I guess you could say. I'm living here in Japan in case you didn't <laughs> figure that out. But that's not what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about more some tips and advice for getting your first tattoo. And I think a big concern for a lot of people who don't have any tattoos is what the pain is going to be like. Now, everyone has a different tolerance for pain, and everyone's experience with tattoos is a little different as far as pain goes. I've talked to a lot of people, and everyone will tell you what was most painful for them, but it varies a lot. And just as an example, like I have my ribs tattooed, and those were not as painful as, say, my kneecap. I think my kneecap has been one of the worst things that I've that I felt while being tattooed and the little spot like right behind the kneecap as well. Um, I had people tell me that, you know, inside of arms are really bad. I don't have any hands or feet yet. I don't have any face yet. I don't think I'm ever going to get any face tattoos, but that's a different story. But the point of this is everyone has a different spot that hurts the most. You can get a feel for how much it's going to hurt in different spots, but you never really know because everyone's different. But there are a lot of things you can do to manage that pain and sort of make it less scary overall. For me, my biggest fear is when I got my first tattoo wasn't really the pain. It was actually, odd enough, one, how my skin's going to react to the ink because I have really sensitive skin. And it's apparent when I get tattooed, it gets quite red and it gets, it always gets red. But um, even just the line works immediately kind of swell up a little bit on me. And you have to, tattoo artists have told me they have to be more careful, I guess, as they tattoo my skin. But if you have a good artist, he's definitely gonna know how to work with your skin and he's gonna do a good job regardless. And the other thing for me, which was like a big, I guess, cause of anxiety was I'm fucking terrified of needles. Yes, terrified of needles. I know that's ironic, but like getting shots is difficult. And I think one thing that helped me get through that over the years is you gotta know that tattoo needles even though it feels like they're slicing your skin with a knife sometimes, they really don't go very deep. They're quite shallow. And especially when you're getting shading, like four or five needles spread out across your skin, they barely pierce the surface. It doesn't feel that way. But for me, that's a bit of a mental assist, I guess, knowing that it's not like, like I don't, getting shots and taking blood, like ugh, gives me like goosebumps just talking about it on camera. I fucking hate it. And it's funny because now when I go to get a shot, people see my shoulders and they're like, oh, you're what? You're not afraid of needles. And they give me the shot and I'm, I'm usually like, okay, good. I'll stand up. And they always make me lie down because I'm like, white as a ghost every time. <laughs> like last time uh, I got a shot for one of my trips and get up and I go to leave and they like, they stop me like, no, 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 no. You can't even walk straight. Like you, you look like freaking Casper the ghost. Lie down. Here's a sucker. Have some candy like every time. <laughs> so, and I got to say like getting my first tattoo, I was super anxious. We started with my ankle, which is a spot that's supposed to be super painful. And after about 30 minutes, Gabe asked me, did that hurt? And I'm like sweating bullets. Like I was super anxious. And the funny part is because I was so anxious, I actually didn't feel anything. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, you know what? That was okay. And he's like, oh, if that ankle didn't hurt. You're going to be fine for a while. Right? So you really just got to dive in there sometimes. And it, I'm just telling you, like from personal experience, it is not as bad as getting like a shot with a proper needle. <laughs> I got to stop doing that. <laughs> Paint the right mental picture, it really helps. And personally, another thing I do is I don't actually watch the needle as they're tattooing me. I typically have my phone and I'm watching Netflix or listening to music or talking to the artist, depending on how intense the section is that he's tattooing. It's definitely useful to bring something to distract yourself. That'll make a big difference for you not thinking about the fact that there's a needle going into your skin. 
typically what's gonna happen is they're gonna put the stencil on, then they're gonna do the outline, and then they're gonna do the shading or the coloring if you have color. And that might be in one session or it might be over multiple sessions, depending on the size and the artist and the whole number of things. But you'll talk to your artist before that and you'll know all these details before you go and sit down to get your tattoo. So for me, I don't mind line work. I think the real difference is line work, it's a single larger needle that's going a lot deeper and it feels more like they're cutting you, to be honest. And I think a lot of people don't like that intense pain. And the other thing is shading, which tends to be several needles which are spread out. And because they're spread out, they take the pressure off one spot and it's not an intense pain, it's more of an irritation. And just personally, like they go over the same spot again and again and again. And I'm just like, I just like, ooh, enough, stop that. Like it irritates me. I don't mind the sharp pain of outlines. I hate the freaking irritation of them going over the same spot again and again and again, like with a less intensity, but just that repetition. I just, once a spot's done, I'm just like, ooh, don't touch me there anymore. You know, it's sore. It feels like a sunburn and I just don't want people rubbing it. That's my opinion, but everyone's different. And you're not going to really know that until you do it yourself and you, you know the difference between those two types of feelings. Some people like pain, um, and that's, I've talked to friends and some of them get tattoos because they, they like the feeling the whole time. I'm definitely not one of those people, but there are things that I like more than others. So some of this fine detail, some of the fine line work, I actually, I, can, I enjoy it sometimes, which is odd. It's not that I like the pain, but it's I think it's almost more that I, it's a relief. It's kind of a break from the like really big shading or the really thick lines that are much more intense. You can definitely do some things for the pain. Some people will take Tylenol before and during, which is okay. You just need to make sure you don't take any ibuprofen or Advil. You can't take anything that thins your blood. Any decent tattoo artist is gonna turn you away if you've had any serious drugs or alcohol in your system because it's just gonna thin your blood and you're gonna bleed a lot more and the tattoo is not gonna heal well, it's not gonna look as good, and it's just not a good experience for anybody. Personally, I found with that first tattoo, I did take a bit of Tylenol before. Honestly, it's more of a placebo effect. It, it did help me like calm my nerves a little bit more thinking it was gonna be less painful, but doing it with and without, I can't really notice the difference to be honest. I find the Tylenol helps more post, like when you're done, and you're healing or the next day, I do think the Tylenol helps a little bit of that numb. It does numb that like kind of after sunburn throbbing sensation that, that does follow because tattoos, they do hurt for a little while after as well, especially big ones, but I don't really think it's necessary. I actually think one of the things about getting a big tattoo is the mental strain is a lot harder than the physical strain. And what I mean by that is when you've been sitting there for five hours, putting yourself through this pain, you start to ask the question like, why did I make this life decision sometimes? And it's this kind of mental strain of not only like just knowing that you have so many more hours to go, but just that you've been sitting there for so long and you haven't been moving much. And you know, maybe you know in my case, like you're coming back the next day and the day after that, it can be a lot. And I think like that's again, when this distraction of having calming music or having a good conversation with the artist or watching a movie can help a lot as well. But I think my two biggest tips are definitely to eat and to sleep. By that, I mean, get a good night's rest before you start your tattoo session. Definitely try and get at least eight hours if you can. You're gonna thank yourself. And the other thing is to eat. Eat a big breakfast. You know, if your tattoo's in the afternoon, eat a big lunch. Don't, don't be one of those people that skips breakfast before a tattoo because your blood sugar can actually drop a lot when you're in that kind of intense feeling. You're traumatizing your body. Like, that's not a nice way to put it, but it's true, especially if you're getting a big tattoo. You're, you're putting your body through some trauma and it needs the nutrients and the rest to recuperate, not only before, but during and after the tattoo. So I would also bring snacks. And if you're getting a big tattoo, you're gonna have lots of breaks. You're gonna have lots of opportunity to, to get up, go to the washroom and have a snack and bring something easy to eat, something you like eating. Like me, even if it's a box of Oreos, because if you're in that much pain, you might not wanna eat, you might just wanna push through it. But if you have something you really enjoy, it'll be easier to eat. Definitely eat whenever you're taking a break, but don't be eating, don't be moving around and wiggling and eating while you're being tattooed. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're gonna have a break He's gonna have a smoke, he's gonna use the washroom, he's gonna have a snack. That's when you can get up from the table 
and have a snack, or you're on the table as long as you're not gonna make a mess. Because hygiene is super important in places like this. And your tattoo artist is gonna take breaks. It's just as hard for him to sit there as it is for you to lie there because he's bent over, you know, wrist vibrating the whole time, shoulders hunched. Like I know a lot of tattoo artists that have back and wrist pain because it's, it's, it's hard work. You know, sitting there for eight hours with your wrist vibrating is not easy. It just as it's hard for you to sit there, get like in pain the whole time. So he needs breaks too. Like he's gonna get up, he or she is gonna get up and they're gonna smoke, they're gonna use the washroom and they're gonna have snacks too. So make sure you have snacks and make sure you have water because staying hydrated is like hugely important. Not only might you sweat a lot, but it's also just the intensity. You need to stay hydrated. So make sure you have a lot of liquids and a lot of snacks when you go, especially if it's a short tattoo session, a couple hours, you might not get a break. Like two hours, you, you probably won't get a break. You'll start and you'll finish. But it, even then you should have a snack. So when you're finished, you can eat something or you make plans for someone to go out and you get some food or maybe you have food at your house. But but don't, don't do a two hour session and then drive an hour home without eating anything. Cause even a short session, it's gonna, it's gonna affect you. And you should definitely, definitely have snacks and stay hydrated. Another really important thing is your tattoo aftercare. Every artist has a bit of a different aftercare routine, but the general rules are keep it clean. So they'll either put some similar to saran wrap on it or depending on the size of it, I mean, you can't, I couldn't like, I couldn't put a bandage on my entire leg. So it'll depend on the artist, it'll depend on the placement, but they'll give you a bit of a different after treatment, but it's usually keep it clean. Don't expose it to the sun and don't make any contact with the tattoo. So don't, don't go rubbing it. Don't go scratching it. Don't go bumping into things. Don't go to the gym for two weeks at least. You know, don't go flexing the muscle where you've just got tattooed because the skin and these fibers are all injured and they need to heal. And you don't want to stretch that skin a whole bunch because it's going to affect the way it heals and your tattoo isn't going to look as good in the long run. And it's not going to last as long if you don't take good aftercare. I can't stress that enough. Aftercare is key. In general, a lot of questions for your first tattoo are going to be answered by your artist because every artist has a bit of a different way of doing things and they are gonna give you a different routine. Just a few other tips and words of caution as well. Don't bring an entourage with you. That's a good way to piss off your artist. Um, if you wanna have a friend there, usually it's fine, especially with COVID, it's best to ask. Just tell your artist or the artist's manager ahead of time, hey, I'd like to bring one, maybe two friends with you, but don't, don't push it and just see what they say. And it's definitely, you know, for a short session, having one person there to support you or hold your hand can help but you may not want to bring someone if it's a 10 hour session, depends how good a friend they are. <laughs> but I don't think you need someone. Don't feel like you need to bring someone. You don't need three friends there, four friends there just to get the perfect like Snapchat, Instagram story for your first tattoo. Your artist can take a couple photos for you. When I got tattooed in, in Japan and in Korea, they actually asked me to shave before I got there. Whereas in North America and in the United States, they told me specifically not to shave before I got there because they want to shave my arm or my leg when I get there to get the closest possible shave. And that's just an artist thing and they'll let you know that. But if they don't say anything, don't be afraid to ask beforehand. Tipping the artist is a big thing. Here in Japan, tipping culture is not the same as in North America. Well, it's actually non-existent. You don't tip in Japan. And even getting tattoos from artists that tattoo foreigners, they wouldn't let me tip them. So that's something to not, don't expect that, but just as a little interesting fact in Japan, uh, if you're getting a tattoo, they're probably not gonna expect a tip. But in most of the world, they do expect a tip. 20% is pretty normal. And I know that's a lot. Obviously you can afford what you can afford. And if he does a terrible job, which hopefully would never happen, but in general, you can expect there to be a tip at the end of the tattoo session. And don't forget to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions about the aftercare, anything you're not sure of and anything you need to do before you get the tattoo because I could list all the things here, but it really depends on the artist. You're gonna have a much better experience if you just talk to your artist or your artist's manager and ask any questions you're not sure about. These, they're used to having a hundred questions thrown at them, you know, uh, because everyone's different and everyone expects something different, especially with your first tattoo. There's gonna be a lot of things you're unsure of and just ask your artist, especially with aftercare. They want it to heal just as much as you do. So you can send them a picture in six months of their amazing healed work because it's art. And a lot of these tattoos artists are quite proud of their art. 
That's most of the advice I got for you today. If you have any questions or concerns, throw me a comment and I'll be happy to answer you. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or anywhere else as well and I'll answer any questions that I can. Please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps me know if you want to see more of these Tattoo Tuesday videos and give me some suggestion for future ideas. I'm going to talk about all my own tattoos, but maybe there are some aspects that you're afraid of or that I haven't covered that you want to hear about. Don't be afraid to let me know. Cheers.